everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have another exciting unboxing and this is a doll. These dolls are dolls, you heard that right, are from um, Tamakin Space, Nothing Sapiens. And this is an artist that I first discovered at um, L Doll in 2018. And they were one of the ones that I had wanted to get a doll from had I been able to go, or had anybody been able to go for that matter, to L Doll in 2020. And then it did not get rescheduled for 2021. So I was just like, you know what? I would like to get one. They had. They actually sold, they put the dolls up for sale that um, were meant for L doll. So I was able to get one of them and I'm really excited about this because these dolls have the coolest, the coolest story. They have the coolest look. They're just, everything about them is so cool. Like I'm just really, um, really, oh, I got tape in my hair. I'm really excited about this. So, oh, let's see. This is the one. All right. I'm going to open the big package first, and then we'll do the little package second. So, I'm going to set that one to the side, and then let's see if we can get to, through the rest of this tape. We're getting warmer, getting warmer. But these dolls are so beautiful and they're so, um, I just love the whole, the story behind them is really wonderful, which I'll link the artist's website in the video description so that you can read all about these dolls and um, their Space Academy and stuff like that. It's just, it's such a cool story and I love it so much, okay. We're almost there, we're almost there. Oh, look at the box, it's silver. Oh, wow, the box is like a silver pearlescent color. Wow, I love that. This is the perfect presentation for this doll. Okay, so let me get her open, oh my gosh. I can't, I can't even, oh, okay. Dear customer, we're honored that you have chosen our dolls and want to reassure you they're made with high quality materials and time-tested technology, but please nevertheless take into account that our products are collectible items not suitable for little children and intended for careful play. So we highly recommend don't expose to direct sunlight, keep them in a clean and dry environment, wrap them carefully in soft protective material before being transported, and treat the hand-painted parts with care. Oh, I love that. This is really... So this may sound dumb, but this is like a really beautiful card stock and really nice printing. I notice little details like that. And I think that artists probably, um, they want things like that, like to have the premium sort of feel to their items. This is a really premium paper and a really premium print job here. So I love that. All right, this one says, dear customer, you've purchased handmade and hand painted natural goat hair doll wig. It's a collectible item not suitable for children. So I got a, I got a, um, a wig with this doll that they made. So don't use a hair dryer. Um, don't wash the wig often and use only warm water style with wet fingers and a small amount of hair wax if necessary. Again, really beautiful printing. Um, is this gonna be my COA? Let's see, okay. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys. All right, Certificate of Authenticity. There we go. And I am, I hope I'm gonna pronounce her name correctly, but I think it is Gal Ify. So I've got a Gal Ify doll, so I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Maybe Eif, maybe it's Eif. But anyway, I am like really, really thrilled about this. And so the color is Savannah Virtuality Effects. This is number 12. Y'all, that's too cool. So it looks like she was made in um, 2019. And she was one of the ones, like I said, that was supposed to be for L doll. Um, but of course that didn't happen. So here's the business card. And of course, I'll link all the information below. There's so much eye candy on this website, on their website. It's just amazing. Okay. 
So let's get into it. Oh, <laughs> look at her. Oh, wow. She's amazing. Y'all, okay, let me get her out of here. Look at my space cadet. She is fantastic. She is just simply fantastic. And of course, I had to get an artist full set because it was an option. And whenever artist full set is an option, I always go for it. This doll has the most unique shape. I just want you guys to check out um, the shape of this doll. Oh, look at her feet. Her toes are painted silver. Check that out. Wow. Oh, she's very heavy too. She is very heavy. When a doll, when I get a resin doll out and they're that heavy, it just screams quality to me every time. It just screams like this is a high quality art piece. Oh, she's so perfect. Oh, I love her. So look at all the little details. So I wanted her, um, I wanted all these cool details that they have because I thought that's, that's a big part of what drew me to this brand is the whole space theme and the whole, um, like the whole look and aesthetic of their dolls. Just look at it. Look at the arm, look at the hand, whatever, the gloves, <laughs> the wrist coverings. Look how amazing that is. Is that not perfect and beautiful in every way? And look at this one. So check this one out. So just everything is just handmade and done so well and so beautifully. Like I, oh my gosh, her little fingernails are painted silver too. Oh. And look at, look at the shape of her chest. I love that. I love this like crazy shape that this doll has because she does have like a crazy bust shape, but I love it. Like I absolutely love it so much. Oh man. And look at her face, face sculpting. Like, can, can we say how beautiful that is? I love this face. And it's, it's not, and something that I've discovered about myself um, is that I don't love traditionally beautiful faces. I much prefer a face like this that is beautiful, but it's not that traditional, like, perfectly symmetric, you know, face. Oh gosh. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's so gorgeous. Oh, I just bent her arm. Like the arm bends and holds the position so effort effortlessly, more effortlessly than it was for me to say that word. Y'all, oh wow. Oh man, I really, really adore her. Oh, the posing is out of this world. <laughs> oh, I'm so punny. Okay, so she's got a double jointed knee as well. Oh man, she just poses so well. Look at that. Look at that posing. That's amazing. I love that. Wow, she's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. Her little hair piece fell out. Let me, or her little ear, I think this is an ear piece that goes around her ear, yeah. Wow, I'm just getting her earpiece back on. There, oh, there's a magnet. Oh, there's a magnet holding it in place. So I stuck it on there and it stuck. Okay, so let's see what else we got in here. So I've got, um, what's this gonna be? Let's unwrap. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. This is like, looks like it's for me, like some kind of, I'm not really sure what this is. I'm not sure if this is like a COA thing or like a necklace for me, but this is definitely like human sized. And this is resin. That's really cool. This has got to be for me, right? Oh yeah, that's for me. That's cool. That's really cool. I love that. I love stuff like that because I like having pieces that can kind of remind me of my dolls that maybe not everybody would understand that that's what they are. Okay, these must be her shoes and her feet, yes. And let me tell you the level of customization that they do on this stuff. They emailed me about these shoes and wanted to know if I wanted this 
clear ridge I don't even know if you can tell the clear ridge around the shoe or if I didn't want it like that's the level of customization that I was able to specify for just for the shoes now these are a clear I think they're resin not totally sure that they are resin where's the other one Let's see oh here it is it fell down in the package so I got the two shoe how cool is that oh I've got extra hands I didn't realize she was gonna come with extra hands and feet. So I got an extra pair of hands, check that out. I love that, and I've got a pair of flat feet. So check that out, how cool is that? That's amazing. So I've got the extra hands and feet, and then she's got her, let's see if I can slip her shoes on. I think they go with these feet. Um, so here's the, oh yeah, look at that. Is she not so fantastic? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at her. Look, look at her. Oh, I love her. I love her, y'all. Oh my gosh. She is amazing. And I think they're doing a pre-order soon for another um, Adult. They changed the body, so the body has been changed. I think this is like the last run that they did of this doll with this body, but the face is still gonna be available just on a different body. Look, she does stand. Wow. What an incredible, incredible, incredible piece of artwork. This is, she has exceeded my expectations. Like, I knew she was gonna be awesome, but wow, she is like, she's really awesome. Like really amazing. Gosh, I love her. She's sort of MSD size, like I'm trying to figure out what she would fit into. She's slimmer than a mini fee, but she's probably would fit right in there like with the tender creation, Pasha Pasha sort of size. All right, so I'm gonna set her to the side for the moment. Um, and we're gonna open the small box so that you guys can see what came in that. So, this one open. And we've got another Tamakin Space, and if you see up the side here, that says One Little Alien. And if you guys don't know, besides being obsessed with dolls and Disney, I'm just a little bit obsessed with aliens. So, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, the presentation of this is amazing. You've got the little picture with all the aliens and look at the color of the pouch. That is so cool, like totally space age. I think those are antenna. So let's get, oh look. Oh, Oh, look, 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 look. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, I love him. He's so cute. He is so cute. Oh my goodness. Adorable. There's something in the bottom here. Let's see what that is. So, it must be, I'm gonna guess it's a COA. Look at this, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm trying to do this without um, tearing stuff up. Let me, so inside you can see there's like a, there's a little metal UFO. Let me see if I can, I think it, there we go. A little metal UFO and I, that might be the COA. And then we've got the artist card again. And I'm trying to remember the color of this one. I think it's it's a place where there was a famous abduction. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you. Let me see if I can get these out. Let's see. Come on out of there, come on out. Can I pull, oh, I can just pull the whole thing out, duh. This whole time I've been sitting here fighting with it. I feel stupid, okay. A million, yes. That's a place in, um, I wanna say it was Poland maybe? I can't remember where there was a famous abduction story. So that was the color of this one. And um, 
gosh, I did all that, and I just had to pull it out of the bottom of the box. Ugh. And then this is um, the same care instructions that we had with the other doll, just on a small card to fit in with the alien. And then this is, um, yeah, that's a little metal UFO. That is too cool. That is such a nice touch to add. Like, it's such a, there's something else here. What is that? Oh, it's just for stuffing. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna put all this stuff back, but I'm gonna show you guys the little alien now. Oh, look, and there are antenna to go with. So I think this is the kind of doll, I don't think I'll actually get like any sort of painting done on this doll because I don't think it's necessary. Like, look how adorable this doll is. Oh my gosh, I love him. I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. Oh, does he go with my earrings really well? I think he does. I think we, we make a good pair. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love this color in real life. It was more, when I looked at it on my screen, you know how your screen doesn't always show you the colors accurately? It seemed like a more muted kind of green, but it's really a beautiful, like I really love this color. It's not a muted green at all. It's a really nice minty sort of green color. And I love, I love the little pillow he came with. Is that not perfect or what? And the cool thing is, is that Tamakin Space is having a contest for this month um, to do, oh, there's magnets on the feet. I think I, <laughs> that's cool. So there's magnets on the feet. This is a little stand. How did I miss that? I missed that when I ordered this doll. That is so cool. That is too cool, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. Today is Friday. It's Friday, I'm in love with this doll. Oh my gosh. Are they not the cutest though? Look at the two of them together. But anyway, they're running a contest right now. Um, to do like a photo story and for space travel. So I've been coming up with some ideas and I was hoping that these two would arrive before the contest had ended so I could use them and try to enter the contest. So I'm gonna try to enter. I'm, I'm usually never win. The only time I usually win stuff is when it's random. Like I don't normally <laughs> do well with photo stories and stuff like that, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Um, but definitely guys, check out the artist's website, check out the artist's Instagram. I will link both of those in the comments below. I'll of course be posting my photo stories when I come up with them. I'm gonna work on them this weekend, um, tomorrow, Saturday. So I'm gonna be posting them on my Instagram if you wanna follow along and see how that goes. But y'all, they're just, these are perfect. They're really, really perfect. I, you know, I, I wish, going to Eldol in 2018, like, there, there were so many amazing artists there and I wanted to support them all and of course I couldn't at the time and I'm just so glad because I've cataloged them all. All the ones I really loved that I wasn't able to get at the time, I've cataloged them and I've slowly been adding them to my collection over time and I just, oh my gosh, I couldn't be happier with them. They are just, they're so cool. They're really amazing. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the artist information in the video description. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. I wanna say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Jenny C, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Angela E, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, and Diane B. Thank you so much for helping support the goals of the MPD community and supporting this channel. You can check the description box of this video to see how you can help support this channel through Patreon. Thank you.